I'm Chris Berman. Got a lot of games to cover. Let's get at it. In our first game this week, we had the Bills end up on the right side of an 11-point game. We had an interesting free agency pickup of note here. Trey's got the lowdown for us. Trey? All right, Chris. Let's switch gears and talk about players that will have new homes in the National Football League as free agency continues to play such a huge role in determining a team's makeup. Tank Johnson is on the move as he gets a contract for what can only be referred to as crazy money. Six years, $7.8 million. On top of that, a $2.3 million signing bonus. Reggie Hayward is on the move as well as he signs a three-year contract with the Broncos. Darian Scott is on the move, as you see, as he accepts a pretty good offer to leave his current club. Five years, $4.8 million. Santos will also have a new address for a while as he signs a four-year contract with the Panthers. Brian Westbrook had over 50 yards receiving and helped his Eagles beat the Redskins. In the Big Apple, New York, we had the Giants stroll away with a 14-point win. Up in Seattle Stadium, we had the Seahawks walk away with a six-point victory. The Vikings got 300-plus yards from their offense in their victory at Arrowhead Stadium. Colts, Panthers. Starvin' Marvin Harrison is so dangerous with his speed. The ball at the 27-yard line, and there's a little stutter step, and he's wide open! Touchdown! The Colts go on to win this by the final score of 17 to 13. Donald Duke and the driver pulled down 100 plus receiving yards and helped his Packers beat the 49ers. By the warm waters of Tampa Bay, we had the Buccaneers barrel to an impressive 31 point win. We had a big trade also of note here. Trey's got the lowdown for us. Trey? All right, Chris. Well, trades aren't quite as common in the NFL nowadays as they are in other sports, certainly. But we've got news to report to you on the trading front nonetheless. This guy leaves the Rams and will be on his way to the Buccaneers. And they obviously see that as one of the areas that needs improvement. In exchange, they'll get someone to beef up their roster. Shelton Quarles is someone whose versatility is certainly appealing, as he can play both the run or the pass from his linebacker spot. Down in Tempe, Arizona, we had the Cardinals squeeze out a four-point victory. We had a big injury in this one, and Trey has the lowdown for us. Trey? All right, Chris, thanks. Luckily, we had a relatively injury-free week, which makes my job just that much easier. Philip Buchanan sticks out on this list as one of the more costly injuries. A dislocated elbow is the problem, keeping him out for eight weeks. So that'll do it for now. Boomer, back to you. Steelers, Bears. Drew Bledsoe is lined up a step or two outside the line of scrimmage at the eight. And, oh man, he pulls it off his shoe top, six. The Bears go on to win this by the final score of 17 to 10. The Titans defense held their opponents to under 150 passing yards in their win at Altel Stadium. And in our final game, we had the Browns come away victorious. So another week in the books here on ESPN, but what do you say we hand out a few game balls before we go? Here's my prime time player. That'll do it, sports fans. I'm Chris Berman, and thanks so much for joining us here in the Bristol studios. We'll see you next week right here on ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports.